they thought that they would be a star after. Yeah, they thought that they were off after. Let me show you how to go from a broad rapper to a large factor. If you climb too slow, man, you fall faster. If you even come close, man, you don't have to. But I'm the idiot dude that went from considering business school to living my vision and getting ridiculed. Cause you're still a fool until you're a genius. Um, growing up in Maryland is, I, I, I think it's, the perfect place to grow up and to be if you want to become a musician um, because you're right in between DC and Baltimore and that's why I grew up smack dab in the middle I'm from the suburb so I got a little bit of both I grew up playing drums because of the DC go-go and I'm like I want to play those beats so at eight age eight my sister had a drum kit my older sister she never played it I started sneaking up on it and playing along with WKOS 93.9 when the go-go segment would come on to a point when my mom came home from her night job nursing one time and she was like who, who, who's that down there and she was like, this boy's got it. Um, but then, 92Q, Baltimore at night, I still got that re in the reception. So I would listen to the beats that they would play. And they, you know how Baltimore has that crazy house music, that uh, Baltimore club, and the drum patterns just made me go nuts. So bought a sequencer. You know what I'm saying? So growing up, it, it really molded me in terms of production and sound. Not so much lyrically. I, I draw my lyrical influence outside, but I think Maryland is, is, a, is a great place to grow up and be exposed to a lot of music. Stepped in the ring, I'm in the ropes. Never did I think it would get difficult. Never did I think that I would give up hope. And oh, if I end up broke, can I cope? And then my best friend told me I was crazy. And then my old girl told me I was acting wild. I was acting now. I guess I got a passion that surpasses rationale. Cause if I try to show them, they will not look. Unless I hit them with the right hook. So all I'm trying to do is land that. Damn that, I finally understand that to live without a fight is like skipping a scene. They say I'm sleepwalking, I'm living the dream. So going from a Fortune 500 company, uh, being licensed as a broker, um, had my broker's licenses and advising people throughout the, the downturn of the economy and, and, and so forth. Um, to go from that to hip hop, some think it's such a crazy transition. But honestly, if you know why you're doing it and, and, and you've actually thought that out, it's, it's just like you can't wait for it to happen. So it was a quick transition. I dove right into it. It was that day I handed in that two-week notice, that, that, that resignation. I was waiting up until that last hour. And that last hour, I went straight from there to the studio. Yeah. Let the bass kick in. Drums make you scratch, get your face slipped in. Listen, pay attention. How I connect the dope track. No page, no pen. Now you're the latest victim of the bass epidemic. No rags, no flags, yet I stay represented. Thought that they were safe for a minute till I jumped up, jumped up. Cause I'ma serve till you swerve. Get on your nerves when you can't feel me. You will need to go fetch cause you're in a cold sweat from a sickness addiction. Snare and a kick and a needle on the wreck it. Easy to inject it. Fiend for the speakers. Need for some fresh shit. Lean to the less shit. Use it up. Step to the next level. You should shoot it up cause I'm. It got challenging to kind of uh, stay focused and embrace my independence during the, the ups and downs when you lose your apartment and you go back to uh, your mom's crib and you got to move all your music there and you kind of you lose your car and you can't afford a haircut. If you look at Creative Destruction 1, my, my first mixtape, it's a picture of me looking like a criminal on there. Like I had crazy hair, crazy beard, and that was just me. And what I did was I embraced that. I said, look, I asked for this. And if I can make it through that, let me just embrace this. Let me highlight this right now. And let's call it creative destruction because sometimes in order to be a creative on full time, you gotta destroy your well-being. Girl, I just wanna coexist. I'm one of a kind, she was kinda the one till she told me this. I'm the one she want, but I'm more like monk. What's the point in being the loneliest, the loneliest? What's the point if all my homies insist that? I took you out, but never should have spent that. That don't make sense. Really? Would you take Billy Holiday to Holiday? Yeah. Now, um, some people look me up and they say, "Hold up, this guy worked with John Legend, but he's like an indie guy. I mean, he's got, you know, he doesn't have a big base. How's he working with John Legend, Chris and Michelle, uh, Nikki Fax?" And they don't realize that it took about three years to actually solidify relationships like that. And yeah, I had to make my ranks through the blog world, which I'm still doing. And then Fat Boys took notice. And then they played it for him, and that was that. Same situation with Chrisette Michelle. Um, she heard about me through Fat Boys. So, you know, that's kind of like the industry side of it, um, where you gotta 
make good, make connections. And being from the business world, I really understand the value of a network and how to talk to people. Like just be just be a good person, and then people will invite you in and throw you a bone. And Chrisette heard me and was like, I want him on my mixtape. Then they bumped her song up to the album after they heard it. Shot the video with her and everything. Man, she's a real cool girl. You know, I'm fortunate. I'm really fortunate to have those connections. It doesn't just happen to anybody. So it w it wasn't just magic. There's a little bit of smoke and mirrors behind it. <laughs> But uh, you know, I look forward to working with more people and I, that's in the works as well. I started channeling my energy. I got that pay per view. I guess the fight is on. I guess I'm standing in the striking zone. Cause I see that red light is on. And you don't need a chess set, but you can check, check. You can bet that my mic is on.